Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. And the right-hander deals. And down on strikes. And there's one down. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Here's a 1-1. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And it's gone. Home run. He sends it out of here. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Now it's Alex Bregman. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Right side, hard hit. Throws to first, and they get Bregman for the out. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hit for contact, so he delivers average. But there's a ah, that's strike three, and the third out. So we take a break. Bottom of the first. Here's Tim Anderson. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Luis Robert now. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off. Two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here stays alive this one lifted in the air left field Brantley has this one sized up and there's one away just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left Here's a high fly ball out to center. McCormick makes the grab. Two away. Yoan Moncada with a chance to hit. Batting four. The third baseman. Yoan Moncada. That one in for a strike. Two and two. Two and two. And the righty deals. In the air, left side. Brantley on the move. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Second inning, set to go. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Righty delivers. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And another ball. Next pitch is inside. Counts full, three and two. And here it comes. the 
into center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Here's Kyle Tucker. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next one just misses, and it's two and two. Now fly ball to right center. And Tucker is retired. And there's two away. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. And that's ball four. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And there's a foul ball. And that chance handled. Tosses to first, and that is that. Bottom of the second. Aloy Jimenez now. The wind and the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses the zone. Two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Big time power. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one is upstairs. And downstairs. The pitch. Out front, pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And ball four, two aboard. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Next offering is in for a strike. Jimenez at second. Grandal at first with no outs. To the right side, and it's through for a hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. All over that one right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now here is Gavin Sheets. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points the pitch lays out but he can't squeeze it and they don't push it runner holds it third base is loaded now with still nobody out so up next Josh Harrison And the pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. And the pitch. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Base is loaded, nobody out. Strike two. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The pitch. In the air, right field. Tucker should have this one. 
Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Tag. Not in time. He's safe. It's 3-1. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. The next no. pitch misses, and that's ball two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 2-2. Two -two. This one in the air center field. McCormick under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. And now, Jose Abreu. He's over one. First and second, two down. On the ground. A dive. Nice stop. And they get the out. Back here on the south side. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh. inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. Up next so the lineup flips over. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Next pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. Just off the outside part of the plate. The pitch slapped foul and he deals out towards right center field Pollock settles under this one makes the catch for the out two outs bases empty now Michael Brantley steps in the solo homer his first time Next offering is in for a strike. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at-bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Pollock makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Yohan Moncada. The wind of the pitch. And he dodges that fastball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Hit in the air, right field. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. And the 3-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here comes a pitch. To short, could be two. Feeds to second, out there. Now to first, and it's a double play. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Yasmani Grandal will hit next. He reached out a walk his first time. Rolled over to third. Bregman handles. Whips it across. That ends the frame. here at the ballpark. Here's Alex Bregman. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late.
And he gets Bregman. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. And a count one and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. Yep, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back at guaranteed rate field. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, A.J. Pollock. Kicks and deals. He swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Josh Harrison steps to the plate for the White Sox. Josh Harrison. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's going to be Kyle Tucker. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. And fouled off. Righty to the plate. Three balls. Two strikes. And that one wrapped foul. Left-hand hitter waits. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The pitch. Up the middle. Anderson to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Jeremy Pena digs in now. And the righty deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Here comes a three two. Lined, and that's a base hit. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out now front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the belt and fires. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim Anderson. 
And a pitch. That one off the mark, two and one. And strike two. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Jose Abreu up to hit. Jose Abreu. The one, two. And a foul ball. And now the count is even. Two outs. Out to short, Pena picks it up. On to first, that takes care of Abreu. Play made, that ends the inning. Here on the south side, all set for the top of the sixth. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Righty delivers. On a line, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. On the ground. Over to Abreu. And they get Brantley for the out. And now it's Alex Bregman. It's been now such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Tying run at the plate, and now it's even up. Base hit and a run in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now, you're Don Alvarez. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Robert on a dead sprint, racing back, puts it away for the out. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. And now, Yoan Moncada. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss got him looking so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue here's Aloy Jimenez and here it comes fly ball down the line Tucker long run Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 1 1. That one missed. A 
That's inside. And a 3-1 on the way. Swings through that. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. And he walked him. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Grandal off of first with two away. Bounce back to the mound. In time to Guriel. And that is the third out of the inning. New pitcher for the White Sox, Kendall Graveman. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Digging in, Kyle Tucker. The 2 1. That one drifts inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right-handed reliever, and it's ball four. He missed down low. No outs. Runner at first. Next to hit, Chaz McCormick. A strikeout and a walk. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right-hander kicks, deals. And the one-two misses to even the count. And a pitch. All in this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. And a payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Checks over to first. Back safely. One run game. One out. One on. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away down. On the mound now, Jose Ruiz. Trying to protect this lead. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the White Sox. Number 66. Jose Ruiz. And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin Maldonado. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. And he deals. And misses inside. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what. You're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good compliment. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center, and we'll take a break. We're back in 
a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Phil Maton. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Back here on the south side, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Gavin Sheets. One, two now. Good eye right there. I got to count two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. Josh Harrison steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Nope, now two out. Seven. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. So up next for Chicago, Tim Anderson for the fourth time tonight. Here comes a pitch. High fly ball out to center field. McCormick makes the catch, and that'll do it. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Here's Michael Brantley. He's already homered here in this one. The pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Robert turns, moving to his left. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two away. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Kyle Crick. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the White Sox. Number 59, Kyle Crick. Alex Bregman now at the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Luis Robert. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Check swing, went around, and the count one and two. High in the air, out to right. Tucker settles underneath it, and it's caught for the out. Here is Yoan Moncada, one for three. One, one now. And a foul ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. McCormick under it. Makes the catch inning over. Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. And he'll work on holding this lead.
here on the south side. We go to the ninth. So now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Swings and misses. One and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Guriel. Good contact guy, good defender. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Pollock racing over to make the catch. Now, here is Kyle Tucker. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And that one is lifted in the air. Robert under it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a 1-1 ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game, and for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. 